All right, so from the parking area, we're just going to go all the way down to the end. And you're going to look for this little Art Smith trail sign. And in the beginning of the hike, you're going to see a lot of these. They're very helpful. Art Smith right there. I'm going to continue down along this berm. There are other use trails in the area here, so just a heads up. This is the one you want. As you go down, if you look off to the left, you're going to see the trail doing some switchbacks up that little hill there. That's where we're eventually going. But at the end of the berm, you're going to reach a fence. We're going to make the left. There's another Art Smith trail sign. We're going to take this right up to the hill where there's a really cool Art Smith trail um, metal sign here, 1977. This is sort of the start of the trail trail as we head uphill here on these little switchbacks. And eventually we're going to kind of gain the ridge and you're going to come out and get nice views down into the Bighorn Golf Course. And I think it's a neighborhood, Bighorn neighborhood down there. Overall, this is a hike of ups and downs. There's a sort of initial climb of maybe a thousand or so feet, then two other bumps that you're going to have to navigate when you come back. But just a heads up, there was a trail sign. You can see right away we're, after a little downhill, we're going uphill again. This is how it is um, the entire way. I'll point out the hills as we go. We're going to climb up a little bit. At this junction, we're going to make the right. This is a little cutoff trail to the top of the hill where we were before. I don't think it's official, so that's why I'm not showing it to you. Um, but you can take that in a pinch. But we're going to keep on going up. And this is the only real intersection. This is the Hopalong Cassidy Trail off to the right. We're going to go left. I love the trail names here in the Palm Springs area, Hopalong Cassidy. But from here on out, we're going to go up along... Um, climbing along all these rocks and we're only really a mile or two away from development here but because of the way the trail has been routed it feels like you are much farther away you're kind of blocked off from development and the noise that it makes at this point we're going to come down into this wash and go through this little mini palm grove here palms are not too healthy uh at this point there but there's still palms this is probably as close as we're going to get into a palm grove on this whole hike we will pass others but right at the end of the grove, we're going to look for the left-hand turn here and just hike out of there and then continue on uphill through the desert here. Again, beautiful views. If you love the desert, you're going to love this trail. Really spectacular. And you can kind of see up in the distance there, there are some palm trees. There's another palm grove up there. We're not going to go into it. We're going to go right by it. And the trail's purposefully routed that way so that we can give the wildlife some space and not sort of disturb the areas where they depend on um, water and shelter and all that fun stuff. But we're going to go up along this palm oasis here and continue on up. There's another one up there in the distance you can see up in the little gap there. Really beautiful. I'm going to come out across here and get some expansive views across the Coachella Valley over the high peaks by our higher peaks in Joshua Tree. And we're going to continue from here up this kind of gradual climb as we go here. Another sign for the Art Smith Trail. They kind of thin out as we continue. In the beginning, there's more of them, but the trail is always pretty easy to follow. It's a mountain biking trail too, so you'll see mountain bike tracks and footprints. It's never really a hard one to navigate. Now at this point, we're done the first kind of climb of the route, and we're going to head downhill for a little while and do another climb, and then another climb to the end. But as we go down, the rock formations are beautiful as we kind of wind our way through these canyons. Really, really pretty desert landscape here. We'll also notice there's no shade as we go, so not one to do when it's really, really hot out. And when we cross through this little wash, it's easy to miss, but if you look up to the left there, you're going to see another big healthy palm grove up up the uh, canyon there really really nice otherwise we're going to continue on down through the canyon here keep on going on these undulations and now we're going to start heading uphill once again and again it's not a real steep climb there's steep sections as you go and if you're coming back it's it's going to feel tough you know as you go uphill on the way back but uphill section and then some downhills nice thing here is you can see the trail sort of winding ahead in front of you which is uh encouraging to know where you're going as we go downhill more sweeping sweeping views another trail sign i mentioned earlier there 
a little more spread out as we continue, but again, it's easy to follow. If you look down, you can see the trail is really well worn here as we go around. At this point, you're going to come around the bend and you can see San Jacinto, unless it's cloudy or something, in the distance. Really, really beautiful views of San Jacinto over the desert, the foothills here. And we can continue down through this wash after we just did that little uphill. It can get tricky when you go through the washes, but again, just look on the other side, see where the trail goes up. But when we get to this big wash right here, we're actually going to make the left and hike up through the wash. And there's a sign here. It can get a little confusing because mountain bikers have gone every which way around through here. But you're going to want to go up this big final wash, which should be almost seven miles in at this point, almost towards the end. We're going to continue up the wash all the way until we find the little trail marker and trail heading off to the left here. We're going to go out of the wash to continue on the Art Smith Trail. There's another little uphill section. The final bit to the end is uphill. Again, nothing major, just a few hundred feet, maybe 800 feet, six, 800 feet. We're going to get to the top. It levels out. There's San Jacinto in the back, and then eventually going to get to the picnic area at Dunn Road, about eight and a half miles in. This is the end of the Art Smith Trail. There's a neat little sign in the distance again, like there was at the beginning. And then from here, you just turn around and go back the way you came.